1885, a large coal vein was discovered in the eastern side of the Cascade Mountain Range, and by 1886, the Northern Pacific Coal Company had plotted out a small town to support the mining operations in the area. Within two years' time, a population of approximately 1,000 coal miners had settled here, forming the small company town named Roslyn, Washington. Mining operations ceased long ago, but the town and many historic buildings still stand today, including the oldest continuously operated tavern in the state, the Brick Saloon, and its original 23-foot running water spittoon and an old basement jail cell. A trip to Roslyn usually includes a stop at the Brick for a drink or some great live music, but this time things were a little different. We'd come to do some trading with a dear friend of Emerald City Guitars, and his goal was to buy a completely original, uncirculated, 1951 Fender Nocaster. All right, so we just landed in Roslyn, Washington. Today, we're going to my buddy Chris Jansen's house. Chris has an awesome history and connection to early Fender, Leo Fender, all that stuff. And this is a really fun scenario that we run into a lot where we're taking a bunch of different guitars and turning it into one holy grail piece. Chris has curated this awesome homage to early Fender and some important Fender pieces, custom colors, some great amps. So we're gonna go dig through that stuff and try to turn it in to this 1951 Fender Nocaster, a Paramount instrument model and the timeline of uh, Fender, which was, it couldn't be more fitting for Chris. I'm familiar with some of his stuff, but I'm always surprised because he's acquiring his stuff all the time. So we're gonna crack some pieces, dig around a little bit, kind of show you the first step into turning a bunch of guitars into one. Hello. Hey, what's up, Chris? What's up, buddy? So I am just pulling up here. I think I'll see you in a second, buddy. All right, man. Sounds good. All right, let's get to work. Hey, hey! What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Yeah. All Come right, on let's in. check some stuff out, man. There we go. Got it all ready for me. Some old cases. Let's start with the brown case. There we go. <laughs> Pull it out. All right. Cool, man. Uh, ooh! So, 63? Yeah, 63. Found that one in uh, Richland, Washington. That's a good way, too. That's what yeah. you want a jazz master. Got that really dark tortoise on it, too, which is awesome. Wow. Yeah. Definitely want to take that on and bar. Oh, okay, cool. To have an original jazz master hang tag with the corresponding serial number, that is, that's big. Okay, this looks like another offset, right? Yeah, I think that's the Jag. Cool. Yeah, candy apple. Look at that. 1965? Yeah, 65. Fender Jaguar and amazing candy apple red. This finish varies a lot too, and this is, that is one of the deepest reds I've ever, it almost About looks like burgundy it mist. Yeah, it is. It's so it really cool. Is. Mint dark. guard, which is, I mean, compliments that finish That's so my well. favorite part of that guitar is the mint guard. Mashing headstock. This is a no-brainer. This looks fun. I love these little kind of <laughs> Faux gator, gator. <laughs> imitation gator case. Yeah. Oh my god. So that looks like maybe a faded Daphne blue. Daphne, that's it. But that has greened out yeah, like I've never seen it before. 66. Yeah, oh my gosh. Fender logo is greened out as well. Yeah. It's the coolest Mustang I've ever seen. And Imagine again, with the. Too. Good lord. Okay, cool. All right. Are you a little sad? Yeah, a lot sad. <laughs> yeah, you know what the For reward is though. <laughs> For a while. Man, we've all done it. As when I got my 52, I mean, sold like three Space Echoes, <laughs> six different guitars, six amps, everything. You tell I, me you were sad for about 30 seconds. 30 seconds, yeah, <laughs> at tops, you know. Maybe them. 30 minutes. Uh, this looks a little newer, a little 70s. Yeah, 73 you know, Strat. Yeah. yeah, this is a great one. Get out of here, man. Yeah. Wow. That is probably the most mint 70s Strat I've it's ever seen. You know, it's a lot harder to sell six guitars or so sure. than one no-caster, uncirculated no-caster. Totally. However, when you run into stuff like custom colors and mint guitars that are anomalies, it makes it a little bit easier. I'm just gonna keep going with the guitars right now. Yep. Okay, 1980 Martin. Wow, that is clean too, man. Jeez. Well, 
Wow. This one's, this one's still up for debate. We'll see if we trade it or not. You should keep this. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm gonna, I'd am gonna. i sell it for two twenty five. Yeah. It's and if you're gonna have a guitar, a dreadnought in the house, yeah. this is like, yeah. D18s are just cannons. If you yeah. get a good one, they're just, they project, very focused, big tone. All right, I'm keeping it. Yeah, keep this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll take it, but yeah, keep that one. Yeah. You need that. Oh, cool, awesome. Yeah, I'll take this. We'll find a good home for it. You cool. got all the stuff in here. Okay. Did you buy it new? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Let's get on to some amps. That looks like a 61 Super to me. Ox yep. blood grill, one of the coolest colors, I think, with the brown face specs. And yeah, it's got the foot pedal with it. Oh, cool. Old dog bone handle, love those. Wow, that is stock. Okay, another thing, along with, okay, it's cool. Two prong cable, yeah. original. Yeah, original. That is awesome. It's the little things that always geek me out, like how did this last that long, you know? I wouldn't expect anything less from the Chris Jensen stash, so. <laughs> Pro Reverb, 40 watts, 212s, yeah, really cool 67, amp. 67, I believe. But you can't go wrong with a good studio amp like this. Handle looks like it's on its way out. It's been played, somebody's been dragging this thing around. 65. Cool. Yeah. All the transformers are dating 65. I'll check that serial number when I get back, but. Wow. 55 Fender Twin, amp, a low power twin. It's one of the rarest, most sought after amps on the planet. I mean, you do not see them. I've had two come through the shop and two hide powers and you know. And it sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. I've plugged into it a bunch of times. I hardly want to touch this, but I, <laughs> and I know this it. is staying with you. So the Deluxe is a crazy one. It's one of the first things I bought in the uh, in the world of collecting and it came straight out of Roslyn, Washington. <laughs> no is, way. Yeah, it's wow. a little bit of a... It's an early one. It is. Carefully get it out of here. You have to have the Lux Reverb there. Classic amps, 22 watts. It's the step down from the Viper Lux. You can date these amps a few different ways. There's a serial number, which we check, and then when I cross-reference all the transformers, there's the power transformer, output transformer, and a choke at least on this specific model. These are all 1965 parts, which would lead me to believe this is 1965. So with your blessing, I say we stick with these three. Yep. Take these five guitars, yep. keep the Martin, yeah, it's awesome. Martin. We'll jam on it while it's in fun. Yep. You gotta keep the twin, yep. I'm not even, I'm not gonna load yep. that up as much as I'd love to, but. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, so cool. we're gonna drive these back. I'm gonna crunch some numbers with yep. you. Man, I appreciate it so hey, much, man. dude. Appreciate you're, you guys coming Oh, you're over. golden, man. Thanks, brother. Awesome. All right, let's load this shit up. So, little turn of events here. On the way back to Seattle, and I actually just got a call from my buddy, David Wheat. David is a man of many talents, a professional race car driver, incredible engineer, mechanic. I can go on and on with the guy. But he also owns the Mount Sai Tavern that we always stop by when we're crossing the over the mountains out here. Amazing food, amazing drinks. You get it, I love it. David's also an avid guitar collector. So he knows Chris as well. He caught word that we were uh, picking some gear up and I think we're gonna maybe show him a couple things. Here we are now actually, that showed up quick. Mr. Week, what's up my man? Oh, of course, of course, man. Here, follow me. I gotta say, this is not the first time I bought something from the back of the car in front of the bar. I think you bought stuff out of the back of my car for sure, too. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that's the deluxe. We're gonna grab that. I'm gonna leave the guitars in here. You've got all your Jaguars, Jazz Masters. Yep. Yep. All right, let's go crack your open, man. <laughs> You're coming up on what, a year of owning this place? Yeah, we just took over about a year and a week ago. It's almost like an adult daycare. <laughs> um, so we've got music, live music, and got the pool table finally back open. Mm -hmm. So just trying to get back to being a bar. This place has been around, was it, is it 1924, 23? 1923, so we're coming up on our 100 year anniversary in a couple years here. So freaking cool. Oh man, perfect. That's what it should look. Look at that cloth wire braided, like military spec. All the solder joints are perfectly clean. Nothing's mm -hmm. been re-hit, nothing's been 
Nothing's been changed in any way, shape, or form. That is beautiful. Just for kicks, I'm gonna pop that on and take a look at the filter caps. I mean, the food here is what's freaking me out, and I feel like everyone, when you guys, when it changed hands, that was the big difference. Yeah, so I'm big into smoked food, and uh, the girls and I travel around a lot, as you do, and uh, you always run into different food, different sauces, different types of things. At the end of the day, it's a little dive bar, and it looks like a dive bar, and it acts like a dive bar, it just doesn't smell like a dive bar. <laughs> oh my God, it is just original so clean. Original filter caps. This amp is not noisy, and it has original filter caps, which is just kind of crazy to Best see. Best of both worlds. And so Dave, just kind of, Full disclosure on this, this is the stuff that, as you know, we talked about, Chris has turned into the no-caster. If you're into this, I'm gonna let you just work with Chris. You know, I think he needs to get four grand for it, but it's well worth it, but yep. I'm not even gonna bring it back to the shop. Luckily, it's gonna stay in our friend group, and I'm sure I'll be playing it, you'll be playing right. it. Good deal, man. Great Give me a hug. <laughs>
And I learned it from you. I think best, you know, saying sometimes you gotta sell them all to get the one guitar that that you want. And like you said, it, it stings for about 30 minutes. Some guys are Gibson guys. I'm a Fender guy, so this this is kind of the top for me. I don't know how I could beat it. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> all right, so we're gonna have some fun this afternoon. I've been looking forward to this. Chris has an, a killer 1955 Fender Low Power Tweed amp that I told Mahal down here so we could do a little demo, get these two connected again, reunited. Never thought. I am a proud friend, man. That's a that's a, <laughs> that's a that's a real deal guitar, yeah. man. Hey, yeah. Dude. Thanks, brother. <laughs> again, you and Jay, I can't say thanks enough. It's amazing. Thank <laughs> you.